So I feel what I'm wearing right now is appropriate for this video, California style. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy RC Martinez. So most of you already know that I was in California back in June, July for my cousin's wedding. I mean, it's not the first time I've been to Los Angeles, but this time I noticed a few things. The way Californians say things, things they have in LA that they don't have in Toronto, and just differences between LA and Toronto. With all that being said, I decided to make this video for you guys. Toronto versus Los Angeles. Now, before I begin, I'm not here to hate on anyone or to disrespect anybody from Los Angeles, let alone the USA. So sit back, relax. This is my own opinion. Don't take it to heart. Let's get this video started. I'm not accustomed to use this on a regular basis. But here in Toronto, when you want a signal while you're driving, you turn on your signal. Now, I noticed in LA or in Van Nuys, the term they use is blinkers. I get it. A car's turn signal normally blinks and that's what you guys must call it blinkers makes sense let's move on in toronto we have highways but in los angeles they have freeways all right i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i took about 15 minutes trying to find the difference between highway and freeway i came across a website that explains more or less what the difference is this is what i understood all freeways are highways but not every highway is a freeway a freeway is a controlled access highway that's designed exclusively for high speed traffic the main difference between a freeway and a multi-lane highway is that in the case of freeways these roads are separated by the rest of the traffic and can only be accessed by ramps yup you're welcome I own a black 2004 Mazda Sport. Yes, a Mazda. All this time, I thought I was pronouncing it correctly. In LA, it's pronounced Mazda. And I'm gonna have to admit that after seeing a few commercials, Mazda commercials of course, the narrator also says Mazda. So my fellow Californians, you win this one. This time around, when I was in LA, I decided to rent a car. To me and my fellow Canadians, I got a rental. But in LA, I did not get a rental. I got a reno. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a reno. But where's the tea though? For the next few things, I think every American or Canadian must know already that we use these things differently. Kilometers, miles, liters of gas, gallons of gas, Celsius, Fahrenheit, English and French. English is the main language and our second language is French here in Canada, even though it's mostly spoken in Montreal. English is Spanish, which I love. You go to California and it's like you're back in El Salvador. Majority of the people speak in Spanish. There's even some areas where you go into the store and they greet you in Spanish. Not here in Canada. Now the following things are things, places that either Toronto has and Los Angeles doesn't or vice versa. I don't know how you guys live without Taco Bell fries. The supreme fries here in Toronto are so legit. I haven't had that in a long time, but they're so good though. Like I said, I don't know how you guys don't have fries at Taco Bell, but then again, you guys have so many more different fast food joints than here in Toronto that I am a little jelly. I'm not gonna lie. The one thing that should be and should have been here in Canada since I was born are hot Cheetos. They brought in the jalapeno cheddar ones but who cares about those though i want the hot cheetos those red ones the red ones that make your fingers all red those are the ones i need in my life here in toronto okay you know what my mouth is even getting watery i'm gonna stop tim hortons i know you guys in cali loved the ice caps that i introduced to you so tim hortons is not in los angeles i know you guys are big on starbucks but we do have that as well i'm gonna have to say that maybe the, the closest thing to tim hortons that you guys have is dunkin donuts ketchup chips some people like them some people didn't my cousin erica actually said why not make mustard chips yeah i don't know about that one the lcbo or the beer store only place that you could actually buy alcohol you need to be 19 years of age you got to find your nearest lcbo or beer store in order to buy alcohol for your pleasing alcohol is sold pretty much everywhere in california at costco the gasoline station grocery stores now that i think of it if toronto sells alcohol everywhere i would be an alcoholic Last but not least, I think we could all agree that everybody has a bathroom in their home, right? 
in Toronto, when we need to go in public, we ask for the washroom. In Los Angeles, California, Van Nuys, San Francisco, Texas, New York, everywhere in the US, it's all about the restroom. Definition of restroom. A place used to literally take a break. Usually by people that are tired and want to rest for some time. Definition of a washroom. A place where people can wash as well as relieve themselves. I guess that's all I'm going to say about that. Now that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with all your homies on Facebook and Twitter. Again, this was just my personal opinion, what I've noticed from going to California so many times. I hope you guys don't take it to heart. I did not mean to disrespect anybody, but if I did, I do apologize. But do hit that like button though. This was your boy RC Martinez. I'll see you guys next week. So me cuida and be good. Be happy for me. I see some more of an improvement in only two weeks. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Stay positive. Take care. Peace.